Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I'm the owner of Airy Bay Sticker Shop. I have a fun, a quick video to share with you guys. I recently purchased a Moterm Passport Companion um, and I'm literally obsessed with the size. And I set up this gorgeous um, planner with some new inserts that I really wanna share with you guys. Um, I did collab with Anna Jolene Printables again on making some Traveler's Notebook inserts. This is one of the previous ones that we have done before, but we have some new designs and a few new formats. So I'm gonna show you how adorable this setup is. So I'm feeling a little bit chatty today, so I'm gonna be sharing you guys uh, my setup in this adorable planner. It's been a while since I set up a planner, especially on this channel. So I'm excited to film it. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on social media um, get some of these Moterm Companion Traveler's Notebooks and they're actually pretty affordable. I really like this leather and they come in a bunch of really cute colors. The one that I went for was this pink color. Um, I think it's really cute. I actually don't have anything in this color already. I remember eyeing a few of the other Moterm planners when I was in rings uh, in this color. So now I finally have it in this adorable passport companion. Anyways, let's get into the setup because I know you guys are curious. As you can see, I have a lot of different inserts. I just finished putting all of this together uh, literally last night. So that's why I'm really excited about this. So let's open her up here. And as you can see, I have lots of cute inserts and cute things in here. A lot of these things I've already had in my collection. So I'm not sure if they're always going to be available or still available, but I wanted to share this flip with you guys anyways. So I didn't film an unboxing of this planner, um, mainly because I wanted to set it up right away. So I guess I'll just talk about the planner and what I have inside of it um, just all at once. So as you can see here, this is what my planner um, looks like in the front. It has a really nice pocket configuration over here. I love this little mini pocket here because it's the perfect size for like mini sheets. I have a few uh, like transparent monthly stickers in here that I'm planning on using to date my monthlies, dailies, and weeklies in here. So um, this little pocket is so cute. It doesn't fit in... Uh, the stickers in my shop don't fit in the front pocket here. It's just a little bit off, maybe like a centimeter. Um, so I just have a washi card and a die cut in the front, as you can see. I love this washi. All of these, I believe, are from Simply Gilded. And this die cut I've had forever. I didn't put anything in the pocket. I didn't put anything in the zip pocket, but I did have this uh, charm. This charm's from Happy Scrappy, actually. I think it's really cute. I don't think I have anything in this pocket, and I also don't have anything at the moment in the back pocket. Uh, if I do bring this planner out, I'm planning on putting like receipts and stuff in both of those, so I want to keep those free um, just in case I need to pull things out. I don't want things like flying out of my planner if I want to get cash or a receipt out. So let's move on into like the big chunk of my planner. I have a lot of things in here, folders um, and such like that. I am thinking about purchasing a few uh, dashboards for my planner in passport size. It's been a while. I don't really know who sells them anymore. I'm gonna have to go do some research, but um, I do have this little card holder with a zipper pocket. Uh, in the front here I have a few die cuts and um, like quotes and stuff. This I've had literally forever. I have a few um, like sticker die cuts. This one is from my shop, which I seriously love. You guys really like that as well. And then I have a hollow die cut. I think that was from Aria's Daydream. I put that in the front because I just love the colors and it matched the planner pretty well. Uh, on the inside here, I do have a few uh, cards. These are just compliment cards or uh, cards that I got with my Rose Color Days orders. I'm not sure if she still does these, but I thought they were cute and the rose gold. So they also match the planner really well. Um, I do have a few inserts in here, which I will talk about because uh, they are a collaboration with uh, myself and my sister Anna Jolene Printables. Like I said earlier in the video, my sister and I, Anna Jolene, have been working on these printable inserts. This is one that we have previously released. I think this was released maybe in fall of last year. So now we have a few more. This is what the previous one looks like. It was a daily. Uh, these are all available on Anna Jolene's uh, main website. And they're all as digital. So you print them at home, cut them at home. 
they're very convenient and you can have them immediately. So this is the first insert that I have in here. This is one of our new designs and it is a monthly. So this insert has the artwork of one of my latest uh, monthly collections that I have released in my own shop. This collection was called uh, Coffee and Flowers. So as you can see, the cover has um, some beautiful tulips. I do have a matching sticker kit for this, by the way, in my shop. So in case you like this art, um, I do have this pattern, for example, as um, washi strips in my shop. And then I have uh, like a whole monthly kit, uh, a bunch of deco boxes, uh, and all that good stuff in my shop. If you look back in my channel, you'll probably be able to find a YouTube short about it so you can see a little bit more. And um, I will have direct links to my shop in case you want the physical stickers. But this insert in particular is a monthly. I like this monthly because it is very simple and easy. Uh, we designed it in a way that it will be very easy to use. Uh, you have space over here to write some notes, put the month on it. By the way, all of these inserts are undated, so you can use them whenever you want. I do have date dots as well in my shop in case you want to use them to date your inserts. This insert only comes in Monday Start for now. If you want Sunday Start, that will have to be a custom. But so this is what the insert looks like, and then you can see some of the art in the bottom corner here. So as you can see, it's a coffee cup here with a few coffee stains. And on each page, on each month, there is a different um, design on it. So this one is just a coffee mark. And I believe uh, what I did was alternate a coffee mark with um, the florals. So here's a nice cappuccino with a bouquet of flowers. Um, the coffee stain here. Here's another... Um, cup of coffee with flowers. I love how versatile this insert is and it also has quite a lot of space because especially in passport size uh, you don't get a lot of space to do things so I made this insert very open and very easy to use. So that is my first insert. Of course I do need to date everything but like I said I just set this up yesterday. So behind that insert I just have some deco. This is something that um, I printed off the internet and stuck in a cello bag. I love this cello bag because it has um, cherry blossoms on it. I think it's so pretty. So um, I decided to slip it in here and kind of use it as a um, dashboard. Like I said, I haven't purchased um, dashboards yet. So I decided to put this in. I think it looks really cool with the um, flowers together. So that's why I like it. Surprisingly, the size is not bad as well. It's like almost exact. So I just clipped this deco onto uh, my craft folder that I have here and I have a bunch of stickers and die cuts and stuff um, from other setups. So I have this die cut from my shop. Uh, this die cut is from Hello Paper Cat and then I have a few stickers in the front here. These ones are also from my shop. I like keeping them in here because um, I use them as deco in my weeklies. Uh, so this next insert is also a collab between myself and Anna Jolene. This is one that we've done a few months ago, so that's already in the shop in case you haven't already seen it. This one um, was sort of like a fountain pen inspired collection, so the theme was like fountain pens and stationery. Uh, and this features the artwork from my sticker collection called um, Happiness Starts Here. I love the warm brown in this insert and it does actually match my cover pretty well. Um, so this is what the insert looks like. This is a weekly insert, as you can see here and it is grid as well. So uh, like I said, these are all undated and on each spread that you can see here has a different image here. So I like using the stickers that I just showed you, these ones. Uh, these ones are kind of like manifestation quotes and just quotes in general. And then I like putting them up here to add a little bit of deco, maybe add some washi. But yeah, I really like this insert as well because it's very easy and simple to use. Oh, I did finally um, print these inserts, by the way, on thicker paper. This is um, 32 pound paper, uh, and I'm not used to it yet. Uh, my previous inserts that I have here are actually only on like 20, 20 pound paper, and it's super thin and lightweight. Um, so I decided to print out all of my inserts using this new paper to see if I like it. I think it'll be good. I have a few different pens that I want to try out on this paper specifically. I have um, this Uniball 1 pen that I'm literally obsessed with. Look how cute and chubby it is. I 
hauled this in a past vlog and then I also wanted to try out this one which is the Sharpie S gel. I've heard a lot about this. I haven't tried it. Um, as you can see I still have like that little thing on the end but I'm going to try it in here because I've seen a lot of people use it on the internet so of course I do want to try it but that is the weekly insert that I collabed with Anna Jolene with. Again um, this is in the passport size but they are also available in like regular standard size, A6, I think week size as well. So that was the uh, weekly insert here. Uh, on the back part of that folder that I just showed you, I do have more stickers. So these stickers I just added in here because they are new releases in my shop. I have some grocery stickers and farmer's market stickers. <laughs> They're so cute. They're some of my favorites that I have in here. And then I also have uh, just these extra like mini sheets. They're not mini sheets, but like they're offcuts from uh, stickers that I purchased online. So these ones I think are from My Little Puffy. I ordered them on Etsy and cut them and print them uh, myself and I just had these extra. So I just leave them in here because they're not full sheets. That's the other side of the settle bag with a little bit more deco. And I just pinned it in place with a small clip. So the last insert that I have here on this string, by the way, I did jump band all of these together uh, so that it fits on one string. I believe the I believe these planners only come with three strings uh, and I've used the other two on these last two notebooks, but I was able to get three inserts on this one string uh, with a jump band. So that's really nice. I like how chunky it is. I also wanted to put the folder on top so it doesn't hit my pen loop. Uh, but like I was saying, the last insert that I have on here is uh, the last new insert from our collab together. So this insert is um, a list insert. So it's something that's going to be very functional and very easy. Everyone can use it. This cover, as you can see here, has um, some line work on it and it is of cherry blossoms. So this matches the best-selling collection from my shop, which is called the Cherry Blossoms Collections. It is the very first, it was the very first collection that I ever dropped with like my monthly collection format, so I do have a full sticker kit that matches it. I'll probably use some of the stickers in this planner as well, but I have like monthly kits, boxes and deco ripped papers. I also have uh, like washi strips as well as um, die cuts in all of these collections, so if you want to check out my shop, they're all there. So this is from the Cherry Blossoms collection, or use the Cherry Blossom collection artwork, and this is the list insert. So as you can see here, it is a checklist insert, so you are able to um, make your list here. You can title it at the top, and you have a checklist here. Actually, this is the old version of the insert because I already printed it out. Um, I already redesigned a new one because I just wanted to shift over this line a little bit, but I still wanted to share this with you because I am still going to be using this insert because I printed it on my nice paper. So here is what the insert looks like, and in every on every page the um, design is slightly different. So this is the cherry blossom artwork that I hand drew myself. All of these collections, by the way, I did hand draw everything by myself. This is probably one of my favorites from this collection, that planner, as well as this cherry blossom stem. It's really cute, huh? So. Um, Again, that's available on Anna Jolene's shop. Now we can move on into the last few inserts that I have in here. All right, so after that insert, I have the very last um, part of that plastic card holder. It holds, it was the one that I first showed you on the front here, uh, but this side is a zip pocket. So I have a few stickers in here. I have this uh, like uh, die cut or what is this called? I guess it's just a deco card. I think that was from like Printpressions or something like that when I made an order. And then on the back side, I have just another die cut. And this one is from um, Hello Paper Cat as well. It's the same as uh, the Pom Pom Pyodin that was in my folder here. So now I can move on into these last few strings. I do have the daily insert here again. This one is the... Um, Books Are Magic collection. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the name of the collection. But this is the Books Are Magic collection. I reprinted it, like I said, on my nice paper, so I'm excited to have that. This is honestly one of my favorite um, designs that I created. 
Um, I do have like washi strips in my shop that match this. I think it's so cute. So yeah, the sticker kit is also available in my shop if you do like this artwork. But this is the daily insert. I'll quickly show you guys what it looks like in case you haven't seen it. I have the art on each page. And then at the top here, you do have all of the months, all of the days of the week, as well as all of the um, days, 1 to 31. <laughs> uh, you have that all on the top, so you can use either a pen like this to mark the days. You can use um, a highlighter, a brush pen, or even um, clear stickers. I have some clear stickers in the back here. Um, you can also use this to highlight what day you're on. So yeah, I really like this layout because I think it's very functional. Um, it's very easy to use and you can divide up the day however you like. Personally, I do like folding this page in half so I can have two columns and then write my list and then whatever notes I need on the side. Um, so yeah, so that is what I like to do with my daily pages. I think that's all of the page variations. That's the back of that insert. And then the very last uh, notebook that I have here was one that came, I think, with this planner. Um, I just decided, it's a, it's a craft notebook Actually, I just decided to add this cover on it, uh, and I'm just going to be using this one as notes. I'm going to be putting some personal information in here, uh, just so I have it. It's going to kind of be like my reference notebook, so I have that in the back. It does say astrology on the bottom here, but I actually just forgot to cover that up. I just wanted this gorgeous cheetah print in my planner because I think it does match my planner cover really well. It's sort of like a nudie color, so it brings out the uh, nude or brownie tones of this planner, which I really like. Then I just have another uh, sticker die cut here. It says 2023. That's also from my shop, this crochet bow. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, after this insert, I do have some more stickers in here. I decided to keep some of my workout stickers in here so I can put them in my weekly. Oh, so I have some workout stickers and then some uh, some spending stickers here. Uh, these are, again, new releases that I just wanted to keep for myself because I know those are going to be useful for me. And then in this pocket, uh, I mentioned this earlier, but these are just some uh, dot stickers. I have these on... I have some transparent ones that I just showed you and then some regular ones that I'm planning on using in here. I find that these are always helpful in small planners. Uh, I also have this die cut. This is a sticker die cut. Oh, it matches the um, uh, it matches the coffee and flowers here. The artwork is also in the insert. So this is one of the die cuts in case um, you haven't seen them already. This is one of the artworks from this collection. So they're available in sticker die cuts and that's how big they are. That's available in my shop. And then lastly, I have some stickers here from Anna Jolene. Um, I like these mini sheets because they can fit really well in small planners. So I have this one, which is the neutral cloud planners, and then I have some face mask stickers as well. Because <laughs> I think they're so cute. They match really well with this cover, I think. So I just keep them in here. Uh, they don't fit in the card slots here, both of our mini pages, but that is okay. I'm just going to stick this die cut back in here so I can use it later. Uh, lastly, this pen. This pen is literally adorable. I just got it in the mail. Um, so these are my new Uniball pens, which I'm currently obsessed with. I have so many colors now. Um, so I have this blue one, which I'm actually um, using in my other pen pouch. I put the cream one. Or what color is this? This is the yogurt color. And then I actually just got um, this one, which is the coffee color as well. So. I have all of these pens to choose from, but I think this yogurt one looks the best in here, so that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm also going to be using probably this Sharpie S gel in here as well. I haven't tried it yet. But I think I can maybe clip it onto something. I might make a um, pen loop to go on here so I can have both of my pens, but I don't know if they'll close. <laughs> What I like about these Motrin planners, by the way, is that um, it does come with two buttons here, so I can probably snap it on the second button and then have this whoop, have this pen here. I just need to make the I just need to make the um, pen loop there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this setup! I think it's so cute. Uh, it's been a while, like I said, um, since I 
have set up a planner like this and it just makes me really happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed watching this setup. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys are having a great month. If you want to see a little bit more um, about this planner, want to see me using it, uh, please do let me know. I don't see too many people using these um, planners on the internet yet, but I'm sure that these will blow up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video. I will leave a link to Anna Jolene's shop for these printables um, down below in my description box, and I'll also link the um, and I'll also link my own shop where you can get like these sticker versions and the sticker kits, so you can use them in your inserts because I think they'll be really cute. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!